know Ready. what to think. Ready. Here, Fred, look, look, look at the baby. Ready. Sit, sit. Oh, be nice to him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What up, y'all, and welcome back to another one. Oh, I'm here, buddy. I didn't forget about you. I didn't. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, sit, sit. That's a good looking Freddy Rico. This is just such a crazy video for me to be doing, y'all. Um, got a big surprise for you. I, I, but the channel, it's gone crazy, you know? It's just gotten crazy over the last couple years, so I wanna talk about that just a little bit. Woo! Windy again. It seems like every day for the last, I don't know, ever since I moved here, it's been windy. We're still waiting our buddy to show up with a surprise, but until then, uh, I want to talk about the channel for just a minute. Um, on the way home, his name's Brian, uh, the guy that's bringing our lovely gift. He actually works at the place that I bought the golf cart, and while I was there, a lot of you that seen the video already know the story. He came up and talked to me, and uh, he's a waterfowl hunter up north of me, only about 20 miles away. And he was like, dude, I'm a subscriber, we goose hunt. Um, just a really nice fellow. Well, he ended up getting a hold of me. And that company that I bought the golf cart from wants to give me this gift. So, long story short, it got me thinking. And I was like, wow, Bob, you've came a long ways. And how long have you been doing this? And then my brain went to the next question of, how many videos have you actually uploaded, man? And it's just crazy. I can remember when I uploaded my 40th video. Uh, right at 40 videos, that was kind of a turning point to me. That's when I uh, put it in my head. I'm like, okay, this is real. I'm going to keep doing this. I've liked it this much. I've never been one to stick with much unless I really, really liked it. For me to stick with anything. Uh, I had to really, really like it. Some things, uh, skateboarding, that was one of my first true loves that I found that really was, you know, skateboarding. Um, hunting, obviously. Um, what else? Family, kids, of course. But I'm thinking things, you know, recreational things that I didn't have to, you know, bind myself to and love. Um, this channel, this channel right here is by far the most dedicated thing I've ever done away from my family and, and, and anything else. This channel. I have uploaded now, and hold on a minute. At the 40th video, that's when I knew. I was like, I'm not stopping. I'm not gonna go down. I'm gonna keep doing this. I've got a rhythm. I think I kinda got it figured out. I have a good idea of what's going on. And at 40 videos, I told myself, I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit. I'm not gonna quit. And then we got over 100 videos, and then 200 videos. Right now I'm at 525 videos uploaded. Is that not incredible? I hadn't looked at that number in forever. And um, I guess it just goes to show. I mean, in all them videos, there was no two minute, no three minute videos. They're all over 10 minutes for a reason. Uh, they're all shows. That's what I wanted this YouTube channel to become was a sanctuary for us waterfowl hunters, for us dove, turkey, any type of hunter out there, any type of outdoor enthusiast, get into, that's why we got into magnet fishing. That's why uh, I'm bringing another passion that I like camping to the channel. So, ah, a lot of y'all, uh, y'all, you guys always DM me, uh, different guys always DM me all the time. They're like, Bob, I just created a channel. What do I need to do? to get views like you. And guys, there is no secret here. What you see is what I do. The, uh, the videos I upload, that Flare uploads, that anybody else uploads out there, it's repetitive action. And you gotta chase the channel, you gotta chase the platform, come up with witty ideas and go make the videos and never stop. And they gotta be on time, you can't be late. They gotta be every day, every other day, this many a week, you set your schedule and you go. So. Hard work is how you get views. A lot, of, a lot of people have asked me how you do that. So um, this whole spiel that I'm doing is all in regards of today and Brian that's coming in and bringing this lovely gift. Um, this, they didn't have to do this. You know what I mean? Fred has just been sitting right here watching and listening to me just babble. <laughs> you look bored. 
So, before Brian even gets here, I want to give a huge, huge, massive shout out to Hometown Outdoor Power for hooking us up. Oh my goodness. They not only gave me a great price on the golf cart, but now they want to become part of the channel. And I'm like, hey man, come on. Uh, just a lot of support out here, man. I, I appreciate everybody's support. All you guys that are always supporting, that are always subscribing, hitting the notification button, hit the thumbs up button. Those are just minimum things, but they help, help, help so much. Thank you, guys. We'll see you later, Brian. Man, how awesome is that? Huge, huge, huge shout out to Hometown Outdoor and Power in McPherson, Kansas, y'all. Coming through, look at this. This is a 60-inch Hustler X1. Woo, she's a lot bigger in person. He sent me a picture of it. He was like, oh, it's big enough to do your whole property. And I'm like, it don't look like it in the picture. Oh no, she's a commercial mower. That's a big girl. Two gas tanks. Sorry, I gotta leave it running. She's literally brand new with two hours on it and the battery needs to charge. Two gas tanks, literally designed to get it done. Uh, I got 20 acres of property here that needs mowed and I've been wondering to myself how in the heck am I going to get it done now I have one rider that's decent but a 60 inch cut Hustler X1 is going to get it done <laughs> brand new brand new I haven't even drove it yet let's go Woo, she's nice boys see if I can one hand it here oh yeah oh she's real nice in the seat oh i'm in heaven mama i'm coming home to hometown outdoor and power that's right guys if you guys are looking for a new tractor a new atv a new mower just like this one big small it don't matter and if you live around me anywhere go check out hometown outdoor and power in mcpherson kansas i will link all their information down in the description below thank you guys so much hometown outdoor and power they didn't have to do this uh-oh look who spotted it uh-oh someone's excited you want to ride bub all right whoa look at the new mower where's your shoes at there's stickers out here you want to ride bub yeah. all right come on get on come on get on no, we're not mowing. We're just going for the ride. The blade's not engaged. Get on. I can't steer with you guys right there. <laughs> what do you guys think? That's a big mower, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you know I wouldn't be mowing, actually mowing with the blade going with my kids on there like that. They just want a little ride. That's all. Well, we got some grass to mow with the new unit that is <laughs> this bad boy is sweet oh yeah let's get after it So literally in seven minutes, five minutes, I've gotten the whole side yard done all the way around the front of the house. This whole backyard done. Five to seven minutes. That's insane. I, uh, it's been an issue and it's been in my head. Uh, my, my buddy Wade even told me, he's like, Bob, you're gonna have to get a bigger mower. And uh, he told me that when we first moved in. And I was like, whatever, I don't care. I don't need a mower. I'll hand push it. And he's like, oh, you're gonna hand push 15 to 20 acres? I'm like, yep. Uh, now I don't have to worry about it. But big shout out yet again to Hometown Outdoor Power. My mind's blown. Oh boy, well, we're just now getting home. It's a few days later. Uh, you can't see it behind me. But I got the mower on the trailer. Had to go mow the old house. The old house that I'm selling, in fact. I gotta get it ready to sell. It's got to go here fast, y'all.
Oh man, I'm telling you what, this bad boy is a game changer. Especially with now having to own and manage two different properties. Gotta get rid of the other house, gotta get it sold. If anybody's interested in it, it will be on the market probably next week. If y'all are, if any of you know where I'm from or anything else, feel free to look it up. But last night we had a chain of events uh, occur and that is my boy. Y'all know, y'all know my little boy uh Bodie Allen and he had an accident last night I wasn't gonna say anything about it you know it's it's kind of personal it's my family but uh as time goes on y'all are growing to be more and more a part of my family as well and I put some pictures up on my Instagram this morning of Bodie's accident last night and there has been literally and huge outpouring of y'all on Instagram, just showing your support for Bodie, telling him, keep your head up, buddy, get better. And, and let me tell you, my little boy, he, he is an absolute beast. Today, he's acted like nothing's even happened, but last night was my first time that I had to take any of my kids to the ER for the first time. So it was, it was scary. Let's go, uh, I'll go show you what happened and we'll go talk to Bubba. <laughs> Oh boy, howdy. I'll tell you what, this thing has been a lifesaver. I'll tell you what. <laughs> tell you what, it's scary being a parent sometimes, you know? We all want to grow up, we, want to, we all want to be older, and we all want a bunch of new opportunities and be able to go do what we want, but it comes with responsibility. And uh, I'll tell you, as a little boy, I think I only went to the emergency room two times. One was I broke my left arm, and the other time was I got second to third degree burns on my shin. And believe me, I remember how scared my parents were last night I got to experience that, being the parent that is. So last night we got home and we pulled the Jeep up right here. We got out and we opened the garage door. Well, what happened was as we got here, uh-huh, check him out, old Fred, uh, he wasn't in his kennel like he is right now. So what he do, he ran to the door as it opened and there we were standing right here. Bodie and Fred met right here. Bodie tripped. I couldn't tell if, if he tripped over this little ledge, but I think it was that guy. It's okay, Frederick. It's not your fault, buddy. You're just trying to see your family. But he tripped and he fell right into the back of the golf cart. Look how sharp that is right there. Boom, his little forehead right on the corner. It's really sharp. It's a really sharp corner and automatically, uh, you can tell uh, it's so sharp. It didn't take an, a lot of force to do what it did. It split him and it split that bad boy open deep. Thank goodness that it wasn't long. It was real short. So, well, let's just, let's just go see Bubba. But before we see old Bubba, I gotta warn y'all, old Frederick, I, he's going away. He's going bye-bye for the summer, aren't you, buddy? I don't, it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be hard. Uh, it's gonna be for the best for Frederick. He's gonna get some awesome training, which he needs. He's growing a lot of bad habits. He had a lot of bad habits over this first season. It was his first season, so everything was new. But I can tell you, with this training on the way, old Frederick, it's gonna be good for him. It's gonna hurt my heart. It's gonna hurt the whole family's heart. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hard. Well, when I got home, the family was at home. And uh, a few minutes ago, actually about 20 minutes ago, they were on their way home and the wife goes, well, we got something for you. It's a surprise, Dad. So we just got done setting it up, check it out. Been telling y'all we're getting chickens. Oh, 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 are you excited, Harper? Yeah! Easy, easy, bub. Is your head okay, buddy? Are you sure? Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Look, he's like, he just, Acts like nothing even happened. He's pretty resilient, isn't he? Oh yeah. He's just wants to show off his band-aid to everybody. Yeah, he just wants to show it off like a normal yeah. boy. He's like, that was fun, mommy. <laughs> it was, was an like, adventure. No Bodie. <laughs> it was an adventure. Yeah. He got a popsicle out of the deal. This yeah. one's name is This one's name's 
Hold on. This one's name is Park Ranger Boy. Park what Ranger Boy? What's that one, Bodie? Careful with him. What's this, this one's name? name? Hold on, no. This one's name is Lenny. Okay, Lenny. Bodie, what's that one? <laughs> this one's name is Fast Ranger Boy. <laughs> This one's name. Fran. 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 That one's name's Fran. Fran, okay. this one's and this name. one's name is Two Poo. Two Poo. Two Poo, like two, poo. two and then number yeah. two. Two Poo. Two Poo. So last night, it's still pandemic quarantine time. So last night when we went to Easy Dude. Easy. Hey, we gotta be real gentle with them chicks, no. okay? They're Easy, babies. Sis. See, look, you gotta Gosh. hold them like this. Yeah, just like that. Last night, uh, they were only. Last night, they only allowed one of us to go in with Bodie, and like I was saying, it was it was a very dramatic deal for Beth and I. I mean, it's the first time that we've ever had to take uh, our kids to the emergency room. It was it was quite shocking, to be honest with you. What do you think of them, dude? Come here, look at him. Here, heel. Hey, look, he's like scared of them. Oh. Ho, ho. Sit, sit. What do you think, buddy? What do you think, buddy? Fred don't know what to think. Here, Fred, look, look, look at the baby. Sit, sit. Oh, be nice to him. Oh. <laughs> oh, do you have one, bub? What, what's that, what's that one's name, bub? What's that this one's name? This one's name is Park Ranger Boy. Park Ranger Boy. <laughs> that Band-Aid. Yeah. Golly. Little man. He doesn't have a bandaid on himself. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. He doesn't have that. It's like nothing even happened. Uh, thank you all for reaching out. We've had literally an outpouring of people, of you all, going on past videos, DMing me on Instagram, asking about Bodie Allen. He is doing great, obviously. That was a heck of a cut. Thank you all for being concerned about Bodie. That was huge. It really surprised me. It made me feel really good, you know? A lot of you are part of our family, and uh, a lot of you have been worried about Bodie, so. Mom, check out Fran. Oh, that one's name's Fran, huh? Fran is a sweetie. I just wanted to show you all that he is ripping and roaring. That one's Park Ranger Boy. That one's yours, isn't he, yeah. Bubba? Mm -hmm. That one well, yours? This one's Park Ranger Boy. That oh, one's which, which Lenny. Which one? Fran, or Lenny, Lenny. has a, more of a blonde face, oh. and that one's darker in the face. Oh, darker face. Park Ranger Boy and Lenny. Park Ranger Boy Bodie. Look at Fran. You're such a sweetheart little man. Watch. See how it's just sitting in Mommy's hand? That's how you have to hold it, baby. You gotta be real gentle. It. Just put it in your hand. Okay? Who wants to get some ducks? Me! Actually, it's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday yeah. is duck day. It's Mom's... Dis it, it, this is all her doing. <laughs> it really is. It really is. I'm not kidding. Yep, the old wife, she's telling me you better hurry up, bud, because them chicks are gonna be getting big. We're building, we're in process of building the chicken coop. Now, I was gonna get some full grown chickens, which we still might, we have enough room. We only have four total right now. And then we're gonna get two ducks. Will two ducks fit in here? It's a big place with the chickens. Will they fit in there? Y'all have to drop a comment down below and let me know. This was originally going to be the pigeon coop, but I'm thinking I'm just going to add on to it and make it longer and then the pigeon loft can attach to it. Yes. So my question is, is can the ducks go in the same coop with the chickens? You got to let me know. This is my first, this is my first farm animal adventure. I'm telling you right now. Thank you. Good job. Be real gentle with them. That's a good body. Give me some nucks. That's a big boy. Harper Lamb. Like are you excited to get ducks? You are? You already have some names picked out for the ducks? Yep. I'm sure some of the viewers have a couple names picked out if we have ducks. Be expecting that video coming soon. We got to get the coop built and the ducks will be on the way. So the next video with the ducks, we're going to let y'all name them. I bet you they'll come up with some pretty good names. Yeah. Give them oh, some good ones. These. Good ones. Yeah. Yeah. Come up with some good one. ones. Some funny ones one, that are kind mommy? of, did this one. you know, off the mommy, beaten did path. This one. <sighs> but I hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Uh, we got a lot of different ones coming y'all's way. A lot of different ones. We're really mixing it up in this off season, y'all. But if you have any video recommendations for us, you know what to do. Drop a comment down below and let us know. But y'all stay safe out there. Until next time. Peace. Peace.
Pessimism. I've been keeping it on the DL. Got a girl that keeps it real.